Hey guys, uh, I'm Ethan Moore from Stockton Supply here with Eric from Fretwood Mac. Um, Eric is a scroll saw enthusiast, and um, so Eric, a uh, question I get all the time is why do my scroll saw blades break? What's the most common reason scroll saw blades break? Improper tension, Ethan. Improper tension. So one thing I'm going to do quickly on the Hegner here, I have a couple Hegners here, and I want to show you guys how to properly tension on this style saw, especially on the Hegner's. Um, so this one I have tensioned properly. It's hard to hear, but this guy I have much too tight a tension. So in, when you say improper tension, that means too tight? Yes, too okay. tight. Not so much on too loose, but too tight. So that one there is too tight. Um, so to tension this style machine, you're gonna loosen it off here. Loosen at the back so we got a nice and loose. We're gonna start fresh here. We'll tighten this back up. Now, you want this, I'm going to loosen this, you see how that's kind of jiggling in there? We're going to tighten that just till it stops jiggling. And from this point, we're going to go between three quarters of a churn and two churns beyond that. So that's three quarter, so that would be my minimum. Beyond there, it, that's going to be used if you're doing really thin stock softwoods. You're going to go beyond, I, like when I'm doing hardwoods, I would go the full two churns. And that's going to be the tension I use right there. Now, Eric, um, when you don't have a machine like this with the tensioner at the back, how do you tension it, like on the Excalibur? Okay, so on the Excalibur, there is a knob on the back, but it is not your tension knob. Your tension is simply the little goose or the little duck head on the front. <clears throat> you're going to flip that, and you're done. Okay. All the other big box machines work just like the Hegner. They do not have the lever on the front, they only have the tension knob on the back. Gotcha. What I do like about this style though, um, even when I go to change my blade, just like that there, there's a positive stop right there. So that brings me right back to the tension I was using before. Um, so you don't, once you have that set and you're using the same blade and similar material, um, you don't ever have to fool around with that there. Um, so yeah. Um, if anyone else has any questions, you can email us at info at stockandsupply.com or comment on the video. And if you want to see future videos, please subscribe. Thanks, Eric. Thank you, Ethan. No problem.